What's up, my Weld2 family? We're here in Appleton, Wisconsin at the Miller headquarters. We are going to be welding some aluminum plate with some ceramic backing. Let's go ahead and get to it. Warning, read and follow all labels and the owner's manual. Okay, so here we are with the uh, XMT350 with the Alumafeed XR suitcase. I'm here with Mr. Eric Brown. He is a welding engineer for Miller and uh, he's gonna tell you some of the features here. So yeah, like you said, this is our XR Alumafeed suitcase on our MPA system, uh, running conventional pulse through a push-pull gun. Uh, running our push-pull gun. Um, this is a new gun that we just developed. Uh, some of the new features include a swivel ball on the back for better ergonomics and less strain on your wrist. Uh, we also have the wire feed speed control here on the gun, so no matter how far away you are, you have control right here at your fingertips. As far as the MPA system, we're running conventional pulse. Many different modes that you can put it into, such as profile pulse or just standard pulse. As in most traditional pulse uh, systems, we have our arc length here. And then down on the system, we can go in and change our sharp arc. So sharp arc is uh, what most people refer to as arc control. It's just another form of adjustment that you can do to tune in the arc a little better. Well, cool, thanks Eric, appreciate it. Now uh, let's go ahead and get to welding. Okay, so here we are. This is the test piece we're going to be welding today. It's a 4000 series coupon. We're running a 30 degree bevel, 60 degree included. 332 root opening with about a 16th land on it just to kind of catch it, not let it uh, keyhole on you too much. The wire we are going to be using is this Hobart uh, 49 43 th wire. We're running at 420 inches per minute on a wire feed speed, 46 on the uh, arc length. You, you could hear it kind of crackly. I do that because I need it to punch back there, hit the ceramic backing and uh, form on the backside and punch through that wall. Uh, at the end there, you heard the crater fill. That's a really nice feature so you don't get any crater cracks. Might not even have to come back and grind it if it's going really well, but I probably, I will always. But anyway, so yeah, that was the route. Just gonna go ahead and inspect the root here. Uh, looks like I got good fusion all around. Uh, both toes are wet out real, real nice. Uh, I don't see any porosity or anything like that. All right, so now we're gonna go ahead and do our uh, hot pass. I went ahead and changed some of the settings on the machine. I went ahead and dropped it down to 400 inches per minute, just right here at the gun, really quick and easy. Uh, bumped the frequency down to 3.0, um, and the sharp arc to 15, and the arc length to 47, so. Go ahead and see how that goes for us. Yeah, I like that. So yeah, like you said, this is our XR Luma C suitcase on our MPA system, uh, running conventional calls. running our push-pull gun. Um, this is a new gun that we just developed. So sharp arc is uh, what most people refer to as arc control. It's just another form of adjustment that you can do to tune in the arc a little better. wire we are going to be using is this Hobart uh, 4943 364 wire. Okay, just went ahead and ran my first beat on the cap. Uh, went really good. Gonna go ahead and finish it out. All right, so there you have it. Some ceramic backing, 4000 series aluminum on some half inch plate. 
using the XMT 350 MPA system uh, with this new gun. It's really nice, I like it, and it uh, went pretty well, so there you have it.